I want to go over the basics of Warrior 1 and Warrior 2. There's not much difference as far as modification when you're pregnant, except maybe you're going to step your feet a little bit wider apart as your belly grows and as your hips change. So for Warrior 1, the traditional alignment, you step uh, pretty far on your mat, enough so that when you bend up to 90 degrees, you're not going over the toes and you can get a really nice deep bend. The heel, if you were to draw a line back, would intersect with the back heel of your back foot. So it's heel to heel alignment. Your hips square towards the front of the wall. You bend up to 90 degrees and your chest squares towards the front of the wall. It's helpful to bring your hands to so you can feel it. Now what happens a lot, especially when you're pregnant because you have extra weight here, is that you'll dump into the low back. So lift the hips up. The frontal hip points are shining forward, not pointing down. This is gonna protect your low back. Bend deeply and then bring your arms up. Don't let the arms come up to the, sh the ears though. Roll them down the back and then send your palms and your biceps wrapping behind you and lots of energy through the fingers for warrior one. Really fire up the back leg and press through that pinky toe edge of your back foot. Now for warrior two, you're just gonna heel toe the foot in a little bit so that if you were to draw a line back from the front heel, it would intersect with the back arch of the back foot. So it's heel to arch alignment. In warrior two, the bottom legs stay pretty similar, but the ribs and the chest open towards the sidewall. And the arms are open and parallel to the floor. And you gaze at that middle index finger. So you bend deep and then really try to open up to the sidewall. This is warrior two. So working with those through your pregnancy and understanding those, you can pretty much do lots of different kinds of sequences in yoga.